Kate Olivia O'Brien is an actress in New York City. For her, every day is different. She has performed in Shakespearean plays, pantomimes, and one-woman shows. Today, she is performing in A Midsummer Night's Dream, and later this week, she's rehearsing and performing for another play. But it wasn't always this way. She has only lived in New York for a year. Before that, she had a very different job in London. I was a talent agent in London. It sounds very exciting, but it was very, very stressful. I worked in an office from half past nine in the morning to half past six in the evening. After work, I often went to TV studios for recordings that lasted hours. Even when I was at home, I had to phone and email people all the time. It was 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I have dual citizenship, so it was easy for me to move from England to the States. I went to university in California where I studied theater and creative writing. So I decided to move somewhere different and New York seemed like the perfect place. I love it here. It's a fantastic city and a great place to be an actor. I can be very creative here, which was very difficult in my old job. In my old job, every day was the same, but as an actor, I'm able to work and do all kinds of different things. I really enjoy the process and I work with a lot of talented people. But was it difficult for Kate to start a new job yes, in a new okay. city? The New York acting scene is very different to London, and it's always hard to live in a big city when you don't know it very well. I was very nervous when I started, but I had a few friends in New York, and they helped a lot. I meet a lot of new people in my work too, and of course, New York is a very exciting city, so it's easy to have fun here. Welcome to the theatre. Hi, I'm Kate. I'm Hamilton. But Hi. acting isn't easy. Your choice spirits and admonish me and give me signs of future accidents. You're a little girl and you go to the movies. Maybe you talk to your mother. You definitely I have to go to a lot of auditions and I must always perform as well as I can. The work is very irregular too and I miss my old salary. In London, I didn't have to think about money, but as an actor, I never know when and where I'm going to work. This also means I can't book many holidays because I won't always be able to go. So, does she regret her decision? I'm my own boss, so I have a lot more control over my life. But the most important thing is, I'm doing what I want to do. I enjoy every day, and although acting is difficult, I always look forward to the challenge. So I definitely made the right choice. 